I went to a conference about 20 years ago and it was called Why Isn't There a Sociology or Social Science Programme on the BBC on Radio 4. And all sorts of speakers got up and told us how good they'd be on such a programme and how very interesting such a programme would be. And then somebody from the BBC stood up and said, I'm afraid you're all talking as though you have some inalienable right to have a programme on Radio 4. There isn't a programme for members of the RAC or the AA or there isn't a programme for philatelists or metallurgists. Difficult to see why there should be a programme for social scientists unless you were able to make a programme that was interesting to other people, which sat on the network and which had some chance of being entertaining, amusing and informative for all the listeners to Radio 4. And I think that got me thinking then that really there was no point in sitting around moaning about the fact that we didn't have one. We weren't going to get one unless we came up with an interesting idea. And fortunately the occasion came along when I was asked to propose some pilot idea for Radio 4. Because I was working on Radio 4 on various other programmes and doing bits and pieces. As some professor at my university characterised it, sounding off my mouth at the drop of a cheque. Um, and... The idea was to have a programme called Academic Controversies and we were going to get two people in the studio, one professor on one side and one professor on the other, and then they'd battle it out over some question like whether or not the theory of evolution needed revising in view of new fossil evidence. But then the person who put up this idea left and disappeared and when we came to try to look around for academics who were prepared to sit and mud wrestle with each other across a table in a studio. We couldn't find any. They all said, well, I do disagree with Professor, but I wouldn't like to be seen to be disagreeing with him. No, not on air. So, secretly, I don't know if I should be saying this or not, but the programme's been on the air for 15 years, so perhaps I'll risk it. Secretly, we slightly adjusted the format so that we could have controversies within social science. So rather than having absolutely central place controversies, we could have something like debates about how you measure poverty, debates about how you measure relative deprivation. You could have little debates about subcultures of violence, about prisons and prison reform. So we slightly shifted the original idea of the programme and slowly turned it into what it is now, which is a programme which brings people up to date with research in the social sciences. <laughs> Get more from the Open University. Check out the links on screen now.